Hi, welcome. Lisa from the Relativity of Paper. Today, I'm going to be sharing a Flower a Day side shaker card. So to get us started, I'm going to be using some Crafting Desert Diva products. I'm going to be using the Crafting Desert Diva's Garden Cutie stamp set, and I'll be using one of the sentiments from this stamp set. I'm also going to be using inside scallop circle dies, which were just released this past February. And we're going to be using fancy frame dies, one of my favorite set of dies from Crafting Desert Divas. So I'm using some Canson XL watercolor paper, Zig Clean Color Real Brush Pens, and Cobalt Blue, Pink, Orange, and Light Green. I'm laying the color down and adding some water to it with my water brush. I'm going to do some die cutting with this later on, so just set it aside to dry. So now we're going to do some die cutting with the fancy frame dies, and I use the two largest fancy frame dies. I die cut white cardstock and pattern cardstock. Go ahead and adhere them together. Now, when you're placing your circle die down, I use the second to the largest circle die from the inside scallop circle dies. Make sure you leave enough room on the bottom and enough room on the top so that you have plenty of room to lay down 3D mounting foam. You also want to take into consideration how big your sentiment is going to be and make sure that you leave yourself enough room for stamping your sentiment. So I'm using a stamping tool to go ahead and position my stamp and stamp my sentiment. I'm also going to use some VersaFine Onyx Black ink and I'm going to do this a couple of times just to make sure I get a nice crisp sentiment. So we're going to be moving on to the shaker portion of the card and we're using stamp packaging to create our shaker. So when you get ready to cut the packaging, you want to cut that top hanging flap off but you want to make sure that you leave that sealed portion intact. Don't cut that off. You're also going to want to make sure that you leave a manufacturer's edge because that's the edge that's going to be showing through your die cut and it'll ensure that you have a nice straight edge. So just go ahead and cut your packaging and cut it down to size to fit the back side of your die cut panel. Once you have it cut and ready to go, you're going to be ready to add your sequins and add your 3D mounting foam. Now, I'm adding some melon drop sequins, some pretty in peak sequins, and also some shimmer sequins from Crafting Desert Divas. And I'm going to start laying down my mounting foam. Now, one thing I want to emphasize is that you have to have your mounting foam touching paper and packaging in order to create that closure. So make sure that you get that um, where it's touching the paper and the packaging so that your sequins don't come flying out. So the top piece here is a little bit too long. I'm going to cut that back so that I have plenty of area to adhere my mounting foam to paper and packaging to make sure that it's closed up and I don't have any problems during the mailing process of my sequins being tumbling out or whatever. So once you have that all done, you have your mounting foam placed down and you have it nice and sturdy for mailing, you can give it a shake and see that it's not the sequins are not going anywhere. And so you've just created a wonderful shaker using stamp packaging. So you actually upcycled, which is a good thing. So here's the watercolor paper that we laid that watercolor down on. And we're going to do some die cutting using the flowers and the leaves from the inside scallop circle dies. And you're going to want to do both flowers so that we can layer them up. And we're going to do a blue, pink, and orange. And then we're going to use the green for the leaves. So once you have your die cuts done, you want to decide where you want to place them on your uh, card before you actually start adding adhesive to them. I'm just putting the final leaf on there. And the next thing that I'm going to do is start adding some bumblebee glitter sprinkles from Doodlebug to the center of my flowers. So originally I had showed you the bright assortment of Doodlebug sprinkles and I changed my mind and decided that I would go with the yellow. And I'm just deciding on which color I want because there's three different colors in this pack. So we just go ahead and add those to the center and we're done. I really appreciate you watching and I hope you enjoyed this process video. Thanks and I hope you have a great day.